Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have two very similar mods called Item Recycling and Meltdown Everything. Item Recycling is a mod that was released this week, and Meltdown Everything is a mod that was released about a year ago. They both want to let the player melt down items in return for different metals, but which one does it better? Well, we'll be covering both, showing their ups and downs, and then we'll let you decide for yourselves. First, we'll start with the newest mod, Item Recycling. The mod takes a very simple approach at achieving its goal. There's no other requirements and there's no setup time. All you need to do is head to any smelter and you'll automatically be able to see what items you can melt down in your inventory. You can melt down things like armor, weapons, and even some of the more useless clutter items like silver goblets, kettles, and platters. There's 168 new smelting recipes in total, created by the author himself. For the most part, the recipes are fair and the amount of ingots you receive depends on the weight of the item. So you'll need two daggers for one ingot, but you'll get two ingots for every warhammer you melt. You can find full conversion information on the mod page, and obviously you can see how many ingots you'll receive in the smelting menu. For the most part, that's the mod item recycling in its current state. There's a few rules here and there, like not being able to melt equipped or enchanted items, but to us it seems like the system favours the idea that you'll see everything you can melt down in the smelting menu, and you can do it quickly and easily at any given time. Meltdown everything takes a more complicated and fleshed out approach. When you first open the game, you'll receive a pop-up letting you know you'll need to activate the mod in the mod menu. The mod menu is probably the mod's biggest advantage over item recycling. From the menu, you can change absolutely everything, including whether you'd like to receive ingots or ores, whether you'd like to allow enchanted or equipped items, and more. You can also change any and all of the conversion ratios, as well as the type of ores you'll receive. After you've activated the mod, you can head to any smelter where you'll be met with three options. Prepare item meltdown, meltdown clutter, and use smelter. The first option is where you'll be able to see all of the items you can melt down. The second option is for melting down multiple amounts of clutter items at once. And the third option is to use the vanilla smelter. Separating them is smart and keeps everything clean and easy to use. Melting down items with this mod costs a little more because you'll also need charcoal, which you can get by smelting firewood. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The clutter meltdown is also easy to use, and you just need to put the items inside the smelter and then it'll show you what you get in return, as well as how many pieces of coal you'll need to melt it all down. Coal has also been made a requirement for turning ores into ingots, which is another balancing measure. But remember, most things can be tweaked or turned off in the mod menu. If you'd prefer to receive ingots from smelting instead of ores, then you can change that. If you think it's a little imbalanced, then you can increase the amount of ores it requires to make an ingot, or decrease the amount of ores you receive from melting down your items. Balancing is entirely in the hands of the player. You can also activate a similar system for leather-based items, which you'll be able to break down at any tanning rack. It's off by default, so be sure to activate it if it's something you're interested in. Unlike item recycling, Meltdown Everything also supports Dawnguard-related items. However, both mods currently don't support any other DLCs, as well as equipment added by mods. However, the author of Meltdown Everything is working on an update to make it support mod-added items. Overall, which mod you choose really depends on the type of outcome you want. If you want full control to create a balanced and efficient smelting system, then we definitely go with Meltdown Everything. It'll take significantly more time to set up and tweak, but once you have everything in place, it's probably the better choice. However, if you want a quick fix and want to be able to quickly convert all of your extra loot into ingots, then go with item recycling. Item recycling also has the advantage of being a script-free mod, so you won't have any problems if you decide to uninstall the mod later down the line. And that's the end of today's spotlight. We saw a couple of people saying item recycling was a fantastic idea and they hadn't seen anything like it before, but in reality there's been several mods that have tried to achieve the same thing. We decided to show Meltdown everything because it's one we've used in the past, but if you think you use a better alternative, then let us know down below. And as always, be sure to leave an endorsement if you enjoy Nothers Mod, and thanks for watching.